So now let's talk about options. A lot of you have heard the term options in the stock market before and you're not quite sure what they are. I'm just going to give you a little bit of explanation on these because I think it's important for you to understand what they are, but we're not going to typically trade them and not with cool trade. Cool trade deals with stocks, not options. But an option is the right to buy or the right to sell. It's a right, but not an obligation. So there's two types of options. One is a call. Now a call is the right to buy. If you think a stock is going to go up, you can buy the stock or you can buy a call, which is the right to buy the stock in the future. A put is the right to sell or put it to somebody. Now if you think a stock is going to go down, you might want to buy a put, which gives you the right to sell it to or have, make somebody else buy it at a set price. Now options have expiration dates like a loaf of bread or a gallon of milk, so you need to understand all the details, but they typically have less liquidity and they have more of a spread in between. So larger spreads, less liquidity, not as easy to maneuver, but you can actually even day trade calls and puts. But I just wanted to give you that much of an explanation so when you hear the term options, you know what it is, but that cool trade doesn't track those and you're not going to be trading them within cool trade. Now let's talk about the primary versus the secondary market. The primary market is what we would call IPOs, initial public offering. The first time, like Facebook, everybody heard that one came out recently within the last year. When Facebook was announced and it came out to the general public, that was what's called an initial public offering. Once it's announced, once it's sold for that first time, now it goes on to the secondary market, which is the market itself where it's going to be traded between people on the market like the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ as a listed stock. Now keep in mind, before the primary market, there's what's called the direct uh, option or, or direct market where it goes direct to certain investors on the inside. So this is where Zuckerberger and other investors were able to buy it at a very, very, very cheap price, maybe pennies or a few dollars per share. So then when it went public and it opens up at $35 a share, that was a huge payday for them. But that direct public offering is going to a limited group of people, in their case, hedge funds and investment banks that are putting in millions and millions and millions of dollars. And then some of their preferred customers at the brokerage accounts were able to buy it at that IPO price, but the general public couldn't touch it until it's listed and it's now traded on the secondary market. So when we talk about the stock market, it's primarily the secondary market. IPOs is primary. Anything before that, unless you got the big bucks, you're not going to be playing in that arena.